Welcome to Lucerne, home of the final Olympic qualification regatta and World Cup three in most non-Olympic years. This video is dedicated to Rob Dowell, former GB and chief coach of the Swiss national team who passed away last December. When I stayed here last year, Robin and Janine hosted me. And while I only knew Robin from meeting him that week, he was an incredibly kind and generous person. And we immediately just geeked out about this crazy sport. In his memory, Janine started Rob's Hood Coffee, the coffee lounge here in the boat park. So here's to you, Robin, and thanks for all you've done. So every non-Olympic year, the final World Cup race of the international season takes place here on the Lake of the Gods. Welcome to World Cup 3 in Lucerne, Switzerland. After the fever dream that was Henley and a quick stopover in Oxford, I sent my Henley clothes back home and hopped on a really cheap flight from Heathrow to Zurich through Athens, Greece. I slept in the airport overnight, made it to Zurich, and took a gorgeous train ride to Lucerne. I got to the course, met up with Janine Gamelin, who were hosting me out in Alpnacht. Once I was set up there, I immediately passed out super early and grabbed a ride with Janine to the course in the morning. And man, the morning light is unmatched here. I got tons of shots for 776 with the New Zealand and Australian national teams training here. All the teams were doing their last prep before race day, like checking pitches, decaling blades, and some were testing out brand new boats. The boat park was way more open compared to a year before during FOQR and World Cup 2. I just walked around and saw all the sights that I couldn't really see the year before because everything was all fenced up. Plus, this is really the only time I can film boats on the race course, and I took way too many clips. One of the coolest spots I got to was the top of the finish tower. Seeing this place without COVID restrictions is incredible, and I always seem to find myself hiding in the bushes, but being able to be in a spot like this was super cool to see everyone going across the finish line. So now we've made it to the actual regatta, race day, Friday, a hectic day of heats. The rules are the same as the other World Cups. When I'm in locations, I can only be with my press credentials. I can't film racing or prize giving. So with that information, I walked along the course all the way up to the start and passed by all my favorite filming spots. The path that I take, you're right up alongside the Borma Plain, so it's a fantastic spot to film all the boats up close doing their starts. The tension on heat state is very palpable, so everybody's locked in and ready to go. Once I finally made it to the start, there was a floating pontoon overlooking the entire course with Mount Pilatus in the back. There was also a restaurant sitting right above the start line, so you could get some sweet shots of all the boats lining up as a train was going by in the background. So as the morning ended, I made my way back to the finish line and hung out in the media center for the rest of the day before heading back on what is probably the most gorgeous train ride I've ever had towards my accommodations in Alpnach and passed the hell out. Saturday is semifinals day. The sun was glistening, the boats were pre-paddling, and the boat park slowly came alive as the weekend was finally here. It was 
Also this morning that the Thomas Keller Medal was officially awarded to Olaf Tufte. Tons of legends have received it for their outstanding growing careers like Pinsent and Redgrave, the Kiwi Pear, Catherine Granger and Kim Brennan, and a bunch of others. It grants you a lifetime accreditation to all the World Rowing Championships, which is pretty damn sweet. While racing was ramping up, the crowd was getting hype, and I decided I wanted to head over to the other side of the course, to where the giant TV was, to try and get a different perspective on racing. And I wanted to get a sick shot of Mount Pilatus in the background. I rushed back over to the finish line for some of the lightweight finals, which were absolutely crushed by Imogen Grant and Paul O'Donovan. Paul was actually on his way back to Ireland from Australia and just stopped in Lucerne for a little race. His coach, Dominic Casey, was over with his wife and they offered me a place to stay during the Irish Rowing Championships. Paul gave a hilarious interview that no one really understood, not even me, until Niall told me about it a week later. How was that? Um, a very, very tough race. Um, the hardest of races, uh, I have to go home with my coach and think about it deeply, very, very deeply and all that nonsense. What went wrong? She got off to such a wonderful start. Yeah, interesting. I wonder what went wrong. I have to think about it. Think about it. Well, what did go wrong? I have to look look and think about it. Think about it deeply, very deeply. Lucerne is great. The hardest of regret, of course, is we don't know what is going to torture. you. And um, Michael Schmidt was giving me tips for what, what lane to choose. Um, so I had the kind of the insider knowledge here from the locals, which is very, very beneficial. I, I think I would have struggled only for that. So, uh. I finished off the day with a little erg at the Aussie container with Joe, and then I ventured back to Alt Notch for the night to get ready for finals day. So now we've made it to Sunday finals day, the final day of the World <laughs> Cup rowing series. And after getting tons of shots of teams boating and pre-paddling, I headed to my favorite spot in the warm-up area to catch all the boats getting ready for their final. Just the international league row with the fastest haircut around. Just as A final racing was about to get underway, I walked all the way back up to the finish line and ran into my friends Mike and Julian in person. The finish line and grandstands were absolutely popping with all the families and fans and passerbys going crazy on the shore. The Swiss with the cowbells go absolutely nuts, especially when there's any Swiss boats doing well. The medals dock was bustling with happy faces, rowers were being interviewed, hugs were being shared, and I was just living the dream. So one of the coolest things about the Lucerne Regatta is that the single skull winners win a Carl F. Bucherer watch. Definitely mispronounced it, but hey, I tried. So congrats to Graham and Alexander for winning those. and I do social media. Nice. Too. <laughs> I'm Sebastian Franke, I'm lead producer for World Rowing Sports Presentation. Amazing. I'm Jan and I'm doing the Rowing Bible page on Instagram. Nice. I'm camera shy. Oh yeah? <laughs> That's who you are? <laughs> I'm Martin Cross, I do talking about rowing. Oh, my name's Camilla hadron Horst, and I'm one of the commentators here at the course. Awesome. I'm Brian Orsini and I'm the head of communications for World Rowing. Nice. <laughs> ben Chassel, I help out the media. 
I will do it. Make six videos. I'm Pascal and I'm doing social media for Lizard and Regatta. Amazing. Who am I and what do I do? Uh, yes. Peter O'Hanlon and I do the tower announcing for World Rank. Very nice. My name's Joe Malcolm. I just fuck about with boats. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Marijn Soutus. I'm the best drone photographer in the world. Hell yeah. Just misunderstood. You Just know? misunderstood. <laughs> ben Tuffle, I'm the uh, official photographer of World War and, and also editor of Row 360 magazine. <laughs> Little what? Editor of Row 360 magazine. Very nice. I'm Balin and I'm leaving. Yeah, he's out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Social media boys. Yeah, buddy. Hey. <laughs> Once the regatta came to a close, I nabbed a small Airbnb in town so I would be a lot closer because it was gold night. The last night to let loose before world champs. After the last few weeks of seeing and meeting all the same rowers at tons of different regattas, they took me in like one of their own. Just a lot shorter. <laughs> and that was it. That was World Cup 3. Hella fun, hella gorgeous and definitely a different vibe than when I was last year for FOQR. I hope you've enjoyed following me along with this crazy journey, because next up is the Irish Rowing Championships over in Inishkar, Cork. See you there. Sweet, sent, done.